Hello everyone, this is our video submission for SIH 2023. Our problem statement goes something like, we have to create an AI-based tool for the preliminary diagnosis of dermatological manifestations. The PS code is 1344. Now let me introduce you to Dermadost. You might be thinking, what is Dermadost? It is basically an application which allows users to click pictures of their affected regions and upload on the website. Then our application will be able to predict or detect if they have that specific skin condition or not. So let's have a look at how the website looks like. So this is the home page. Here we have a little about us section. This is a little introduction to how our model is actually working. This is some info about the database which we are using. These are some of the updates we have done recently. And at last we have the contact info. So now from the point of view of a user, how are we going to use this application? So let's say you have an image of your affected region. So what you will do is you have to go to this identify section. And here you will have an option to upload the image. So now you will be having your image on the computer. So you can just browse it select it and upload it so in this case i'm using the image of a person who is suffering from vitiligo and once i upload it and wait for the results as you can see we got the correct results which is vitiligo and the confidence level is 100 percent so what it means is that the result is very much trustworthy now let's have a look at the chatbot which we have provided along with the application so this is the chatbot which we have created so let's look at some of its features it has voice recognition what is acne as you can see it is giving me the correct results as well one more helpful feature which we have added is it is able to detect 30 plus languages. So for example, I ask a query in Hindi and it will give me the answer in Hindi as well. So those are the features of our chatbot. Let's move on to the next section. Now let's talk about the working of our application. Starting from the front end, we have created a very user friendly front end. We have some future plans for the front end such as a real time camera which is basically feature in which the user can use their webcam for live video detection. We will be providing GPS assistance which means you can contact nearby dermatologists to your location. Let's talk about the model which we have created. It is powered by efficient net B3 which uses transfer learning. We have used some custom classification layers on it and for optimization we have used the adam optimizer let's talk about the evaluation metrics we have used quite a lot such as accuracy precision recall f1 score and a confusion matrix talking about the reliability we have used model checkpoints and model checkpoint callbacks let's talk about the chatbot it is a multilingual chatbot which is powered by large language model llama 2 it provides very reliable information because we are using reliable sources of information such as the Wikipedia API and the articles which are published by the Ministry of Ayush itself. It is very responsive and gives quick and accurate responses. Now let's talk about some more points. Uh, coming to data security, we are going to use all the standard security measures to store the data of the user. Uh, using the Aadhaar authentication. Well, talking about the Aadhaar authentication, what we are doing is we are going to send the data, the result of the detection directly on the phone number which is connected to their Aadhaar ID. And we also have a very unique feature in our chatbot that is it is going to store the last five chats. This can be very useful for future reference. Let's talk about the channels and the revenue streams. Our channels can be a lot of them such as government institutions, schools, hospitals, medical colleges, etc. And the revenue models and the revenue streams can be such as 
the subscription, licensing, partnerships, government funding, online doctor integration, etc. Let's talk a little about the dependencies of our project. I will mainly talk about three points. First of all, we need very high powerful computing resources. Second of all, we need a very rich data set which has a large demographic and geographies covered. And third, we need to maintain the data privacy regulations such as HIPAA. Finally, let's talk about the product status. Right now, we are in the development phase. The product is 70 percent completed. In the upcoming phase, we are going to integrate with online doctors and then release it across all the popular app stores. Then we will look into the revenue generation. So that is pretty much how our application is like. I hope you found our idea to be unique and useful to the problem statement. Thank you for listening.